Hello everyone, in this video we will go through everything about this Titan P1 engine preheater so that you can know better about this product before you buy it. Let's take a look at the package first. Uh, as we can see, the main color is, is white and here is the uh, red logo. On the side, we can see some company information such as the contact number and here are the QR codes of social media you can scan it and on the bottom you can see the certificates it has anyway the, the package looks pretty neat to me okay so now the engine heater let's see what information is printed on it okay so on the, on the top we can see the company's logo, VVKB. And here's a warning sign. On the bottom, there are, there are some information, such as the model number and the IP class, the rated power and the rated voltage. We can also see the TUV and rose marks, also the company's a website. So one more thing we should pay attention to is that there are actually two connecting options for this type of heater. One is with the cable and the other is with the data connections. Let me show you how to connect them. So first you want to uh, put this black end to the heater like like this. Okay, so connect the other end with the with the red one, just like this. It's very easy, and you can plug this to the to the socket. So that's all for the outlook and uh, the connecting ways. Now let's. Let's take this baby apart and see what's inside exactly. So here are the parts that we use to make a Titan P1 engine preheater. Let's first look at D3. You combine them, you can get a case. That's very easy. And this is the O-ring. It is used to uh, improve the waterproof level. Here are the screws. They are all processed under the antiseptic treatment. This is the heating tube. This is the electrical machine. The rotor. You combine these two together, you get a water pump. These two, they are thermostat. And the last one, it is a cable. 